Given that testing's got a bad word, it's, it's such a bad word that when I talk to some audiences, I switch to the phrase retrieval practice rather than testing. <laughs> and retrieving, in, it, there, there are three virtues of tests from a pedagogical standpoint, very important virtues. One is retrieving information or procedures, as I've alluded to, is what I call a memory modifier. The information you recall becomes more recallable than it would have been otherwise. As a learning event, it's more recallable than being presented that information. I say this inflatable life vest example, this is, this is a story where I'd rushed to an airplane some years ago, and again, they were trying to show me how to put on the, on the vest. And I thought, oh, how many times have I seen this? So I kind of relaxed in my seat. I imagine that the plane was down in the water, those lights were on, there were a few people screaming, there was some faint hint of smoke. Do I know how to do this? So where is that life preserver? Well, it's under your seat, but like, how under your seat? I mean, I started to get panicked, like, is it hanging there? Is it in a Velcro package? It's whatever. So then I imagined that I, I got this out, and, and what do you do? I, it's obvious to, this, to the flight attendant, which is front and back, but was that going to be obvious to me? Anyway, I assumed I got it on and pulled these things. Then what do you do after that? You don't want to be on a plane with a lot of you, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you try to pull this cord to inflate, and if that doesn't work, what? Then you find this tube and blow it. And I assumed I did that and then got to the window and at least at that time, you were supposed to blow it up after you got out the window. But as I once said in a talk at the Air Traffic Control Center in Oklahoma City, if there was one place in the airport where a single time you could do it, just find it, put it on, do it, go out, that would be worth more than these hundreds of exposures. We're not sort of just recording devices. I even suggested you might have people to give them a little pin. I know how to get out of the plane. So, <clears throat> so other, and then other information that's in competition, there's a whole domain of research on what's called retrieval-induced forgetting that I won't be able to touch on. And the basic point is that as we use our memories, we alter or shape our memories in important and useful ways. The second virtue is testing provides far better feedback to what's been learned than does restudying. If you're a student preparing for a midterm exam and trying to scan the material to see what you still need to study, when the material's right there in front of you, you will be, your ability to judge whether you'd be able to recall it is very flawed, very inaccurate. If you're with another student asking each other questions and trying to produce answers, you'll get an accurate measure of what you know and understand. The third thing, this is the most recent line of this kind of research, testing, it turns out, potentiates subsequent studying. Even if you test people before they've had the material, which is something Elizabeth did in one of the courses she teaches, and they're mostly wrong at everything, after that, they study more efficiently. Three important benefits of Retrieval practice.